Thanks, Aaron. Tucson's new streetcar system needs to be ready for anything, so today streetcar operators and firefighters and police have been practicing for trouble. The streetcar is set to take paying passengers July 25th, but there are still some things that need to be worked out. That means testing the system and first responders for emergencies on streetcar routes. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live along the streetcar line with more on what they've been doing. Well, Guy, right over here, you can see the remains of this training exercise. All those people in the in the bright vests, those are Sunlink streetcar operators. And also, you may see this SWAT van and the Tucson SWAT officers nearby. They have been training on what to do if, say, there is a hot from a training exercise that happened just a minute or two ago. Now, the SWAT team has to practice how to get into this vehicle. It's unfamiliar to them. It's not the same as entering a city bus, for instance. The doors open differently. If the, if the operator is, is disabled, for instance, they have to learn how to open the doors on their own. And uh, also, in some cases, they need to disable the powerful electrical systems inside these streetcars to make sure things are safe. All of this sort of training that is that we're seeing here today is required by the federal government. It paid for the streetcar system and sets very strict standards on testing the mechanicals of the system, but also how first responders will take care of emergencies as they occur. Earlier today, Tucson Fire was in a training exercise where there was a simulated collision, a simulated chemical spill, and they dealt with some of the issues of disabling the powerful electrical system and figuring out how to enter that streetcar. So that is something that they are working towards as they work to get this system ready to go on July 25th. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.